As of July 2023, large wildfires have been burning across Canada consistently for several months, and much of the U.S. has been looking on through hazy air as smoke from these fires moves across the border. Should we be concerned about smoke that's traveled all the way down here to the southeast? Well, wildfire smoke is harmful to human health, and the science is pretty clear. It's been linked to greater numbers of hospitalizations and deaths, and specific health consequences like respiratory illness and pregnancy complications, even if you're hundreds of miles away. The pollutants from wildfire smoke include potentially harmful gases, but the most concerning component of smoke is particulate matter less than 10 micrometers in diameter. In other words, really small. The most dangerous particles are smaller than 2.5 micrometers, which is why you've probably been hearing a lot about PM2.5. These tiny particles can enter deep into the lungs, and may even enter the bloodstream. Fortunately, healthy adults are not at major risk from short-term exposures to smoke, and there are some proven steps you can take to protect your health. First, pay attention to the EPA's Air Quality Index, or AQI, in your area. The higher the number, the greater the health concern. Visit the website airnow.gov to find your current AQI and other air quality information. When the AQI is high, the best thing you can do is reduce your amount of exposure. You should limit your time outside, close your windows and seal any gaps you can, and recirculate the air with your HVAC system or an air purifier. If you have to be outside, limit your physical activity and wear an appropriate respirator. Some groups, like children and older adults, are more sensitive to smoke and should take more of these precautions. We won't ever get rid of wildfire smoke, but there's a lot of science to know how to stay healthy when it's headed our way.